How's it going, everybody? I'm Slavin Torsky, and welcome to the channel. And as you can see, more Joy Toy deliciousness is coming your way. So, this is the second video in the Heavy Intercessors series. This one is for Nico Bates. I realize I never said the last guy's name. He's the one that's up here. He is Atus Gardane. I think. How do you pronounce it? So, this is Ultramarine. Uh, you see, I have Ultramarines and Imperial Fists. Uh, they are pretty much the same thing, just recall. But that doesn't mean they're not amazing anyway. So we're going to open this one up and get in. Now you'll see, if you saw the previous video, you'll know that the other one, the package is kind of beat up. This one is kind of beat up too. Uh, those two are actually in great condition. All of these I got off of AliExpress. You are taking a chance if you purchase off AliExpress. There is a, when I purchased items off there, I'd say four out of every ten of uh, figures I order. I have ordered a lot. Um, they will come in damaged. Not the figures, but the box itself will come in damaged. Look at my Maestro Union review for uh, for uh, Crocker. Uh, that one, that that box, and there's nothing that that particular shop is going to do for me. Even though I asked, they told me they give me a coupon and they ignored me. So you're taking a risk. So if you're going to purchase these, I would suggest. Very Beery or Flyemo. Either one of those shops are very good. And Very Beery in particular is super friendly. Mind you, I've had great in, um, interactions with Flyemo as well. There's been a couple figures I had some QC issues, and uh, Flyemo actually took care of those for me very quickly and with no argument. So, no problems with them. But I've talked a lot with Very Beery. I know they're a smaller shop. Um, nice people, and uh, they are always very quick to answer people and they have some pretty good deals so check them out if you are interested so let's get that right there i'm gonna have to flatten those boxes out or something they're pretty rough all right so inside of this box so first off you're gonna get your heavy intercessor you're going to get a snack pack that you should not eat or go back. Then you're going to get the weapon, which is attached. So it's a heavy bolter, and it is attached to the backpack. We'll get into that shortly. And just like all the others, especially the late they're making, you have uh, multiple hand options. Let me just do it this way. I'm trying to not pull them out, but let me just pull them out of there. All right, so you get four hand options. You're going to get the pointing hand, the relaxed hand, grippy hand, and fisticuffs hand. Uh, so those are going to be a couple options that you have, and they're all for, let's see, that one is left, left, right, left. So you have a gripping hand for the right, for like a dagger or something, which it comes with one. All the rest are left hand. You also get a bolter pistol in case he runs low on his main bolter. So you do have a sidearm for him, which is always cool. I like the look of those. And here is the heavy bolter. So you have standard heavy backpack. It's very similar to that one up there, but you have the addition of this tube that runs over and powers the heavy bolter. The heavy bolter itself looks fantastic. Uh, the drum comes off. So if you want them to reload, you can. Put the drum back on. It is drilled out in the front here, so that's hollow, so you can put some fire effects. And it also has a handle, Whew, which is pretty stiff. But you can have him holding that handle to support, which you probably want with uh, something that heavy shooting. Let's go to the figure. Here he is in all of his glory. Uh, it does not come in an alternate head, so you just get the one. But uh, this one does move up and down a little bit. Should you guess, I agree. Side to side, and it can rotate around pretty well. So you don't have much in the way of problems with that. As you can see, it's pretty tight. Uh, it's got a lot of goodies in here. I mean, a lot of uh, molding around there. So it's going to be kind of difficult to swap the head out. Just keep that in mind. You don't want to break it. It's 
far as articulation, the arms aren't going to go too far. This is a heavy intercessor, so it's heavily armored. Pauldrons are held on by a little loop where the arm attaches to the torso. You do have a dual jointed elbow, so you can get some pretty good articulation on the arms. Bicep swivel and barbell wrist joint. Same on this arm. You see a little difference. It's got little buttons on there. That's always cool. Uh, torso, you get a bit of flexation that way. It's pretty far, considering. Really far back on the fall over. Side to side, it's not bad. Rotation is good, as always with these. Uh, your hips are only going to go so far because this part of the armor in the mold up here is going to hit that belt and it stops it from going too far. You'll see these cables that come from the top to the bottom of the leg. He does have dual jointed knees. The only problem is you don't get the most out of that because of that cable. And I think that cable is glued in, so you're not going to get much more. Uh, the, the legs can rotate around, so you can get some pretty good rotation on that. Ankles, forward back, right, rotation, good. The toe is good. The holes in the bottom, so if you need to peg them in to stand them up, you can. Also, just like the other heavy intercessor, he has a dagger. Really nice looking one, too. I like that paint app on there. And I know they didn't mean to have that little effect on the end. And I know that's probably a paint issue, but it makes it look worn. It makes it look like it's been used. I actually kind of like that. So that looks good with that dagger back. So to get his, also on the back here, you notice a couple of mag pouches and holster pistol. You just clip that backpack right in. You're going to under sling. And this is going to go into this hand. Now, the hands on these, these are the 2.0 hands. The original hands, the 1.0 they actually were a lot softer. So you're gonna to to heat these up. So let me heat this up off camera. I'll be right back. All right, here we are. Uh, now a trick I learned, because this is very tough to get this hand on here, pop the hand off the joint, put it between your palms, and then hold it for about 30 seconds between your palms. Especially if you're like me and you're a warm person, you'll warm up that plastic just enough to make it a little bit more malleable so you don't break the fingers off. And uh, we went ahead and got this in the hand. So I want to make it look like he's kind of shooting there. So you put some blast effects, make him maybe brace for support. You're not going to get him firing directly in front of him just because of the way of the mold. But this definitely looks like he is ready to start shooting and laying down some fire. But I think this figure is fantastic. In video games, if there's a heavy weapons class, I'm probably going to use it. There's a character that uses a minigun or a chain gun, or in this case, a heavy bolter. The first Space Marine game, I heavy bolters were my thing. <laughs> like, I used to get on multiplayer with a buddy. We'd get uh, a couple Space Marines up with heavy bolters, and we'd cover a hallway, and yeah, we ended up winning the match because of that. But fantastic figure. Looks great. So, putting him up against the other guy from the heavy. Get an idea on the size. One of the captains here. You see the heavies are a bit bigger than the captains. It just kind of happens that way. They got more armor. Now we're going to put them up with the chapter master, Marnius Calgar. And of course he takes them out. So you get an idea. Marnius has very similar heavy armor that that guy does. Looks fantastic. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in Orc. We'll do a Dark Source figure. And we'll roll in with one of the Colt of San Rejas on the bike. To get an idea on the size comparison there. So awesome figure. I think it's great. And well worth your money. They're like 30, 40 bucks now. So pick one up if you get a chance. Worth every penny, I'd say. These things are great. As you can see, I like them. I'm having issues uh, with space. I'm buying too many. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I got for today. I've uh, taken up enough of your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And maybe this helped you if you decided. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, if you wanted to pick one of these up, you have my two thumbs up. The other thumbs on the camera. 
uh, pick one up if you can. Uh, and I would suggest going to either Berry Beery or Flying McCoy. I like both of them, and I'll guarantee that you get it. So it's not completely up or down. All right, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep pushing forward on your goals. Don't give up. Uh, everybody gets knocked down. It's okay if you fall down. What's important is to get back up again. I had somebody tell me that recently. It's all about dedication rather than uh, actually being like super, super successful right away. Just be dedicated and keep pushing forward on your goals. You will get there eventually. And don't compare yourself to everybody else. If, other, somebody, if someone else gets there faster than you, that's okay. Everybody has different luck. Everybody has different circumstances. As long as you get there and succeed in your goals, that's all that matters. All right, guys, I've taken up enough of your time. Take it easy, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to any future content I have coming. As usual, a like is always super appreciated. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Share this video with any of your friends or groups that you think may enjoy it. And let's talk down in the comments section. I always enjoy hearing from you. If you would like to interact more with the channel, you can find me at my socials on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I post any contest entries and reference codes for contests that I enter on Twitter, so that's another reason to check it out. I also have a TikTok account I created where I upload tease videos for upcoming YouTube videos as well as shorts. I am also getting back into gaming content on the Xbox Series X, and I'm looking to start doing streams again on Twitch, which I'll upload to YouTube later. Thanks again for stopping by, and I hope to see you again next time.